Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to Minecraft. It's Styx here. Last episode, we built this factory building thing over here. It's kind of interesting. I uh, still don't know if it's the best thing ever, but you know, it, it, it is definitely, definitely interesting. Now today, guys, we're going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to fly around to this street over here. We have the cathedral. And over the, the last uh, month or so, we've been building up this. We've built out the back here. We've got like the graveyard going on and everything. But if you just saw inside the window there, the floor on the interior is uh, grass. Yes, grass. It's a, it's a grass church. Yes, so what we're going to do, guys, is work on the interior today. So, we're going to have some big pillars, I think, going on here. We'll have a big path going down the middle, and then all the pews on the side and things like that. And then we'll have some sort of altar up here, I think. And in between these windows here, so I suppose if we look straight up, we should be able to find this block be right here okay so that is those two blocks there we will build up some pillars here i think uh probably out like this um if that is like that i'm gonna have it like that okay this is gonna get very confusing very quickly but i think if we do that yeah some sort of pillar design like that that goes up and over and connects to the next pillar over here so they're gonna be fairly close together but i think that's fine um if we go here uh, we may have to come out a little bit, actually, because these windows are here. It's going to be a bit of work anyway, so we're going to have pillars going up like that. Let's just build this up just a little bit so we can see what's going on here. I don't know if we'll be building it out of stone bricks, probably, because the outside walls are stone bricks, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll have to soon find out. So that's going to go up in an arch and connect to these ones over here. We're going to have that going all the way down the side. And from there on, I'm not really sure. We may have some arches coming over as well, because I think that always looks really cool. And these big old um, churches. Oh, my voice. What was I saying, guys, before my voice decided to die on me? Oh, yes. We'll have some big arch things coming across here. I think that'll look pretty cool. And then we'll have some sort of raised altar up over here. Uh, obviously, this is going to get closed. I think I'll put some doors in here so we can get in and out. Just like we have on that one over there. We have a door in the middle. And I think that could look pretty cool. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let's get started with building up these pillars. Obviously, the floor's not going to be grass. We're going to need some sort of cool patterned floor as well, because these cathedrals are always pretty epic with the uh, with that sort of design stuff. Also, I'm going to have to find a new place for this map. This map is massive. We should probably update it as well. There's been a lot done. I mean, this is completely gone. This whole area has changed like crazy. I wonder if... These are locked, these maps. I don't think they are. But um, yeah. Okay, guys, let's crack on. Let's get some of these pillars built and see what they're looking like. So believe it or not, it's taken quite a while to come up with these two crummy designs. I think this design might be the best, but maybe without this bit. Maybe we just do this with stairs instead of walls. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I might switch it up to look a little bit more like this design. So uh, this design here is uh, like... It goes back three here, and then it would have uh, these two here as well, but I haven't built them yet, just in case I don't bother going with this design, and this would come out three to this side. Uh, I needed three, guys. I really needed a middle block like this to do this sort of thing up here. So we have this design over here, and I haven't finished off the top there, but if you look, it'd be very similar to this window over here. But yeah, we have the little candles up there. Ignore ignore that silly floating idiot. Um, but yeah, this is looking interesting. I don't like this bit. How could I fix that? Uh, I want that to be bigger, but this this cathedral's just not that big, so I have to do, do what I can with it. It's all looking a bit square. I don't want it to look square. Does, does that make any sense, guys? So, anyways, I need to pick one of these designs, and I think I am... I think this just this just doesn't look right. This, this doesn't look right. So it's going to be this, but I might alter it a little bit as I go. So what I need to do, guys, is pretty much copy that all the way down there and all the way down there as well. So oh, yeah, that could be crazy. So it's too wide on the front because it has to be to match up with these two wide things I did on the outside. I uh, set myself up to fail with too wide, but you know, every now and then you've got to push yourself to do something a little bit difficult, I suppose. Uh, these pillars go all the way to the top. It's a two by three pillar. And then you have this in between, this arch. And then I think from there we'll have some bigger arches coming across, like I said. But I'm not going to build them right now. I'm going to figure that out later once all of these are in. I think that'll be cool. It's all coming together. And yeah, we're going to hopefully one day 
walk through this door into a lovely cathedral. I probably will say church and all sorts of other things, but it is a cathedral. I honestly don't know what the difference is, but I think cathedrals are just bigger. But uh, okay, right, let's get this building built across there. Obviously, we have a lot of things to fill in over here, like all of this stuff. Um, you can't just have these blocks sticking out. This is all going to get filled in with blocks. And there might even be a pillar coming out here, to be honest. I mean, I don't know what this is here. This doesn't need to be here, right? No, this is this is uh, nothing. So we might even have a, a pillar coming out here as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So I have a pillar going up there and it'll connect to this and a little arch here as well. Because, you know, cathedrals, guys, just arches everywhere. Okay, it's nighttime. Let me sleep. And yeah, I've started using candles, guys. That is fantastic. We actually have a use for candles. They are awesome, but they... Yeah, I don't like what they've done with them. How they have them off sometimes. That, that makes literally no sense. Why is it off sometimes? It's a candle. Just leave it on. I know it's because like particles and stuff, but maybe it's because I've got too many torches in here. And once I get rid of those, it'll fix it. But I just don't understand. Why do the candles turn off? Candles don't do that. But yeah, they flicker a little bit, but they never go out. Like if we just watch this, maybe it's because it's far away. But I think they do go out at some stage. Okay, the closer you are, the less they go out. But that, yeah, see that one over there just went out. That one over there. It's because it's further away. So if you're right next to them, they tend not to go out by the looks of it. Oh, there we go. The one that one just went out because I looked away. Yeah, I, I don't know why it does that. And uh, the light level from one candle was really quite weak. I wonder what it is, actually. I mean, that's probably even lighting it even more. I, I honestly don't know. But if you put four, you get quite a lot of light. But yeah. All right. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to go with the ordinary candles as well. I've got yellow and white candles as well. So we've got white and we have yellow. But I think we might mix them up a bit and use a few of these different ones. Oops. But yeah, I think the ordinary candles just look best as actual candles for now. But we can uh, try using these others a little later. Let's see what happens. Obviously, uh, candles get used more in the rest of the church. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, I've been yabbering on for a bit now. Let's crack on. I just thought of the perfect place to put the world map. Yes, 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 yes. In the hidden Assassin's Bureau. Down here, under here, secret assassin base. In here, it's, yes, yes, yes. If you guys haven't seen this, this is the assassin base. I uh, made this big room, the big Assassin's Creed symbol, and I made this room in here. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's, that's all we made so far. So over here, we'll be putting in the map. So I'm just gonna build it over here somewhere, keep it all together. And, uh, oh, I can just get in through here. I don't have to go through the cool secret way. Right. Um, let me build myself a space over here to put it. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll build a room around it at some other stage. Alrighty, everything is starting to come together now. We have every side done. So, that is good. That's looking cool. I think it's definitely going to look awesome when we start bringing some things across from, like, maybe a couple of blocks above that. Maybe here somewhere. Bring that across, some big bars. I think that'll look really, really cool. What I'm going to do right now is start ripping up the floor, guys, and putting in some sort of walkway down the center here. So I think it'll have to only be three wide because then we won't have a lot of room for seating otherwise. Although the seating can go into these gaps, can't it, I suppose? Um, I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, let's do, let's do a three wide for now from there. So I think what we'll do is make up some sort of design. I think I'm going to go with... Um, andesite, which I don't have a lot of. Polished andesite, probably. Maybe smooth stone. Let's let's see here. Let's see what this looks like, my friends. In a zigzag pattern, the old classical zigzag. Does this look okay? It looks pretty good. Um, or is that a bit too much? I don't know. I kind of like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that down there for now, down the center. And then there'll be maybe an, a block on the outside that separates it from the rest of it. Take that out. There'll be a different block along the side, maybe. Obviously, I'll change these blocks here to match. And then the rest of it may... Oh, stone bricks. Too many stone bricks. Um, I think maybe just stone. Maybe stone. Oh, no. I'll, I'll have a... Uh, I'll have a... Dis Ooh, actually. What was that? Cobble deep slate. I love a bit of deep slate. Um, hmm, maybe some of this stuff. Grab a couple of these. Ten of these, just for now. Let's see what this looks like as a border block. Maybe the floor gets really dark and we do it with deep slate. I think that could be a good idea. 
I really think that is a good idea. Making the floor really dark. Okay, that's pretty cool. I kind of wish the tiles were going the other way, but you don't get a choice, my friends. They go whichever way they go. Okay, let's uh, let's start working on the floor here. And everything should be coming together. Let's let's fly back out of here. Ow. Um, I've done all the windows and things here. We have like a little design around them. Uh, I can't get rid of that there because that's the ceiling. So there's no space there. There's a half block gap, but I, I can't place anything in there because it's the gap with the uh, with the wood in it. So yeah, unfortunately, that's one little thing that's not going to look very good. But this wood will all be covered up, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay, let's work on this path and making the floor in here look pretty cool. Yeah, I think deep slate's a good idea, actually. We're gonna need a lot, though. I have quite a lot, but do I have enough to fill out this whole floor? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, wherever we put the seats will probably be a full block, so under there we might, might just leave dirt instead of wasting the deep slate tiles. But, uh, okay, let's go. Right, floor in. This is gonna take a while, and also, I don't have much andesite, so... We must. We might have to go on an adventure and get that as well. Okay, so this is what I have so far, my friends. We have all the pews uh, sort of set up like this. They'll probably keep going until about here somewhere, then there'll be a gap. And yeah, it's all looking pretty cool. So, uh, I really, really wanted to make these pews here with the upside down stairs and then having these backs on them, but they're just too big for a Minecraft, Minecraft player. I mean, it, it, it just, it looks silly. Like, if we come forward and sit on this chair, it looks much more... Oh, I really don't know, but they are too big. When I, I built a couple of them, and it was just taking up so much space, it looked redonkulous. So, I just thought I'd leave that in to show you. That was the first design of the pew. Kind of like it, but yeah, has to go. Has to go, my friend. Uh, anyway, looking pretty cool. I think this is the best color for the pews. Maybe dark oak, but the dark oak trapdoors are nowhere near as good, so, you know. We're gonna have to go with this for now. I mean, we could do these with... We could do dark oak with these trapdoors. I mean, maybe I'll try that out. That might actually look better, because the dark oak is pretty nice as well. But as you can see, these are going in. The floor is coming along. Now, I've done this all in slabs, my friends. That means I'm gonna get double the amount of blocks covered by uh, this. Uh, the only problem is... I have to take these out. So... Uh, I'm just placing grass underneath where all the, the, the stairs are going, so we're not wasting any more of this stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to continue on, my friends. We also need to figure out uh, a way to get light down the middle here. Um, so I'm thinking some sort of candle post thing. Hmm, how's that going to work, though? Because, I mean, unless I put it in between like this. Ah, hmm, that could be... That could be interesting. We might just have to take the arms off some of them, because if we had to place a stair block here, uh, sorry, not a stair block, a fence or anything to make like a little stand for a candle, it's not going to work out very well, is it? Not at all. Because you can't put these in the same block as any other blocks, so... Yeah, that's kind of annoying, but I'll try and figure it out. Hmm. Maybe I should put a two-block gap in between the pews? No, I think that'll look rubbish. Anyways, guys. I'll figure it out, and I'll be right back with you, and all these pews will be in. It'll be fantastic. There's a lot of skeletons out here as well that like to shoot me. Yep, there's there's one. There's a couple. Yep. All right, now this guy's inside. That's a problem. See you later. Okay, my friends, we're outside. Let's walk on in. Close the door. There we go. We have a bunch of seats in. I decided to leave them as the... Uh, as the spruce wood for now, but uh, looking at this dark oak um, stuff over here, I'm thinking I might change it because it does look better. It really does look better in here, the dark oak. So, uh, there's little tables with candles everywhere. See what I mean? Like, these candles just don't look lit. Have I not lit them? <laughs> maybe. Maybe I haven't lit these ones here. I haven't lit these ones. That'll be why they don't look lit, but they don't really light much up just one candle anyway, so it's more for looks than anything, which is why I'm annoyed that they don't, like actually go on all the time like why does it look like half of these are out when they're all lit it's it's a bit silly um okay well anyways guys we have a bunch of candles around here around the side here um trying to light everything up i've got all the torches in here because while i'm working in here things are spawning now when we get the next update in here will be absolutely fine i'll be able to take all the torches out because it's like there's a seven here i think this block is a seven and something can spawn right here 
And things were spawning in between here as well. There's lots of things that can spawn in here. I think most of these blocks are quite dark. If we look at the light level... Oh, it's 8 here. There's a 7 there. There's a 7 right here. These are torches are lit, but there's just not enough light here. Yeah, there's a torch here, that's why. But uh, yeah, there's lots of pla pa pla pla places... Wow, that was a difficult word to say for some reason. Uh, there's lots of places here that things can spawn. Uh, we may be able to put hide some more torches like around the corner here, like up here on some brackets or something. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave it with the torches while we continue building. But yeah, like I said, in the next update, any amount of light stops spawning. That's what they're doing for now. They said they might change it, but hopefully not. But yeah, I think it's looking pretty cool. I think we could get up a bit higher to have a look at the pews. Let's go and smack our face into this wall. You know, that looks nice. I like that. So every second one I've put in the uh, the little candle on the side there. Okay, nice, nice. All right, we need to build something up here, up the front. Uh, I don't really know what. I suppose we'll put some stairs here um, that go up like so. And they'll go up to some sort of podium type thing that they can stand on and preach from. Too high is probably high enough, to be honest. And then I suppose we need an organ... Where would that go? Uh, maybe we'll have like a little walkway that goes around past these windows as well. That could be cool, like up here. That could come out like that. I think that could be interesting as well, having a little walkway around the sides. But not all the way, maybe just from here somewhere. Uh, we'll see though. So we're getting there, guys. Everything is coming together. Looking pretty cool. Let's crack on. We got uh, we got some stuff to put across here as well. I need to put the beams in. I'll build this first and then we'll put in these beams. Um, I'm thinking that's all the time I'm going to have after we do that. But um, yeah, we may not be able to cover up everything today. But it is getting closer. Getting very close indeed. It's starting to look very cool in here. I'm so annoyed I have to put these torches in. That's not awesome. But anyways, guys, I built this thing at the front. I think it could do with some detailing and things, but we are... Seriously running out on time, and if I want to get this part finished, um, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go pretty fast. So I'm thinking I wanna cover this roof up. We don't want the wood showing, I don't think. I don't think we want the wood showing at all. But I'm unsure how to do that. I think from about here, I'm gonna bring some sort of arch across. Um I've just looked at a bunch of real life interiors for cathedrals, and none of them have the like beams going across that I was thinking of. So I don't think we'll do that. We'll try and keep the ceiling nice and big. I'm guessing that's for like acoustics and things because they do a lot of singing and things. Um, I also wanted to build an organ, but I'm not going to have time for that today, guys. So, yeah, we have our little area up here. A little, uh, I don't I don't know what these things are called, but you've got a book on a lectern here. You can read out to the cathedral here. Bunch of people. And yeah, no, that's pretty cool. We got all the little tables around the side like we had before. I think there's definitely more to be done in here, but uh, for today, I think what I'm going to do is try and finish up this roof here, get in some, some beams going across. I don't think we're going to have time to cover up the whole thing because I am almost completely out of time. So what I'm going to do is do my best to get a few of these in so we can get an idea of what the ceiling is going to look like. So that's what I'm going to work on now, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, guys, this has actually made it look really, really cool. I like these. That one's got light on it for some reason. Um, on top is um, actually slabs, so nothing should spawn up here, so we can leave them dark. I can't get up here. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Please. How did I hit that wall too hard? That's weird. Well, I've not run along a street for a while, but, you know, we're back. Normally, I fly absolutely everywhere. This is just... This is bizarre. Okay, let's uh, break our way in here and hopefully get our stuff back. Hmm. I feel like that was um, the, every hit except for the last one, I agree, should have hurt me. But the last one, I, I don't think that should have hurt me at all. I feel like I didn't even hit that wall. Like, tapped into it nicely. Okay, here we go. Right, wings back. Uh, where's my pants? Uh, my pants? Are they anywhere? Hello, pants? Um... Let's let's do some more indoor flying. Let's get everything back where it's supposed to be. That's the silk touch. That's my sword. That's that. That goes there. Goes over here somewhere. Okay. Um. Where 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 are my pants? It's all up here, and I can't fly up here now because I hurt myself flying around too many times, and I haven't got my food yet. So up here. Here we go. We should be able to get our stuff back. Aha! Aha! There's my pants. Okay. I think that's everything now. 
Put that back. Let's have a munch down on some food. Get our health back before we do anything stupid. Okay, what I was saying was nothing should spawn up here because these are all slabs and stairs. We have the... Uh... Oh, I took everything out of my inventory. Yes, those are uh, those are slabs there. As you can see, this is a full block here. And we can do all of this. Take this nonsense down. Okay, what I'm going to do now, guys, is actually use this. And I think I might leave this wood here. Obviously, I can take out these ones here. I'll have to replace the ones that are doing that. Okay. Let's just make a mess, shall we? But what I can do is just replace those. Oh, that's difficult to replace. Okay, well, I'll have to I'll have to be sneaky about it. That one's okay. And then we can just take this back up. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think we can leave those in, but I need to go in between. And in between all these gaps, I'm going to go up a level or so and put a bunch of stone in. So the roof is stone with the stone brick pillars, like holding it up. I think that'll look pretty cool. So that's the plan, guys. Let's get that in, and then we shall be done for today. Well, guys, it's still kind of a death trap in here. I don't know where things are spawning, but there are still spots that everything's spawning in. Annoyingly, I can't really get rid of these torches. I really wanted to, but I, I just everything spawns in here while you're working. It's crazy. But anyways, guys, we have the ceiling finished mostly. Uh, I'm still deciding what to do with this wood here. Maybe we take the wood out, maybe we don't, maybe we leave it, maybe I cover it over. But I have run out of time for getting this episode out. We're already a day late. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, guys, please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the very next episode.